morning, Dark Sizzle Nation. I hope you guys are doing great. Guess what? I'm finally going back offshore with my friend, Crazy Craig Stevens. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and we both haven't been offshore in quite a while. It's been about like five weeks, yes. probably like four weeks for us because we went, we went offshore with Lisa just before Christmas. So I am really stoked to get back out there. And it, it just, I've been having family in town and stuff going on. So just super stoked to see what we're gonna catch today. And because of the weather, we got a small window where we can only go today. The storm's gonna come next uh, tonight. Yeah. So we gotta hit this window today. We might not be able to go offshore again for about a week. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Brian. I'm Darcy's boyfriend. We quit our jobs like two years ago so we could fish full time and fulfill our dreams of fishing full time. And hopefully these videos will inspire some of you guys to follow your dreams too. Put him on the back corner on the bent butt. Okay. We'll go with the naked ballyhoo yep. on another corner. A blunt nose. A larger one, okay. and then we'll go with a small feather in case there's any tuna out there. We'll mix it up a little bit, and then we can adjust from there to colors or sizes. Sounds good. Okay. Well, we were trolling for quite a while this morning with not one bite, which is pretty shocking to me because it's quite sporty out here today with like two to three foot seas, and we didn't get a bite. So we just switched it up a little while ago and put out the live baits to drift, and we just drifted from 300 feet down to, what's the depth now? Uh, 134. 134. And I just got a really nice hit on the bottom, bottom fishing. And so I'm gonna bring back my leader and see what happens. I'm pretty frustrated. That was a good one. My leader has been cut, so I'm pretty sure that was a kingfish bite, but I'm gonna still gonna go for the snapper bite, so I'm gonna go ahead and just re-rig and not put a wire tr trace on yet. That's a fish. All right. Hopefully, I can keep him glued. I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and the reason why I'm doing that is because we are not getting bites today. So I'm tackling down, and that's always a risk that I'm taking, but, you know, it might pay off in the end. Perfect hook. Look at the beautiful colors in his mouth. <coughs> Look at that. Check out this beautiful little juvenile red grouper I just caught. He's actually making thumping noises right now. It's vibrating on my fingers. Pretty cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and release him back into the water. Beautiful fish. And I've been catching a lot of these the last couple months. It's interesting. Here's a tip for you guys that you should always do, especially when you're bottom fishing, but I have a live pilchard here, and I'm using a 5 aught two times strong mustad circle hook. And for the circle hooks or even the J hooks on a live bait, you always want to not hook them through the nose like this because honestly, if you send them down like that and it's swimming with the, with the hook like this, it could easily get stuck in the wrong side of the fish and actually embed into your bait and then you're not going to hook that big predator fish. You always want to do it through the bottom lip and then up through the top so it's streamlined and that hook has no real way of actually getting hooked in this fish with him swimming. And you're going to always hook your, your predator fish that eats him. So I'm going to drop it down right now and I have a big 20 foot leader. Oops. Wow. How's he feel? He's pretty good. Oh, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked, man. What's the depth? 100. That was crazy. I thought I just hooked bottom. It was like pounce. I thought it was a bite. And then it just felt like steady bottom. Like, you know, it's a big difference. You really got to feel your rod and feel what's going on with your bait and stuff. But then all of a sudden it like freed itself and there's a fish on. So it feels like it's pretty decent. Oh, baby. Yes. Heck yes. He's got to be 18. He's 17 and a quarter. Okay. Oh, make sure to check him again. <laughs> yeah, I'm stretching him. I got a little overexcited there. He's about three quarters inch too short to be a keeper. But look at his beautiful colors. What a lit up fish. And he fought really good too. So he is going back home. He's got to live another day. Get a little bigger. Usually the mutt muttons I've been catching lately are always seem to be just under legal. <laughs> All right. 
reset our drift. It's just been a slow day overall, honestly. But there is a minor right now. There's a minor moon phase. And we have been trying to pay attention to that more lately, seeing you know when we get our bites and when the bite turns on. And usually we've noticed during the minor and the majors that bites turn on towards the end. So it's like an hour long and I just hooked a fish. We have all these lines out and nothing's getting hit. And I've caught all the fish on the boat so far, but we are about to drift. <laughs> I caught I caught all the fish on the boat today. Well, yeah, that's because we want you to catch the fish, Darcy. No, this is my rig. This is my hooks. This is my everything. <laughs> and I am fishing the bottom because I know how to bottom fish. Her boat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, her name is on the side. Yes. Of it, so. You are putting me on the fish, technically. Come on, come on. Baby. Oh, hey, what's going on? I'm trying to drive. All right, Crazy Craig is taking us to the famous uh, Hillsboro Stink Hole. The Stink Hole. It's the last resort. We caught a couple of grouper. They were short. Mutton. Muttons, they were short. Come to Stink Hole, and then we're going to go in and try and catch a couple Spanish Macs. It's just one of those days. Yeah. 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 Is he going to catch me a fish? I hope so. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's catch fishes. I decided to go in and try and catch some Spanish mackerels, and while we were doing that, I, ha I bought some delicious snacks for my friend Pudding, I mean Brian. And as he's having a Brian, I mean Pudding. Mmm, yummy. All natural, no high fructose syrup. What's up, buddy? Delicious. Switched up our, our techniques once again. Sorry, the clicker is off. We decided to target some Spanish mackerel. There's something on the lens. our trolling techniques out here because we are not catching a whole lot of fish so we wanted to come in even shallower than we've been fishing today and that's like trolling 20 to 30 feet of water actually 10 to 30 feet of water and target Spanish mackerels and they're actually really really good to eat and this guy is definitely a keeper I have to look up the size but I believe it's a 12 inch minimum uh, nose to the tail fork and Spanish mackerel are just one of those fish that have really sharp teeth, they're really fast, they're really aggressive, and they're fun to catch with the family and the kids, and they don't get too much bigger than this. So, pretty awesome, we're gonna see if we can get more. wrapping up the day back at the dock and we had a great day on the water truly an amazing time just to get out there after I haven't been out there in weeks caught a few different species aboard team real dreams so thank you guys so much for watching this episode I also wanted to mention if you would like to buy some dark sizzle offshore merchandise is very similar to this click the link down in the description below there's a sale running through January 28th and the code is love the number two and if you use that code you receive 20% off your purchase if you buy two or more items so check that out guys and until my next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching dude let go dude I'm trying to... sorry it's okay it is boy. wise big boys look that can be the daddy this can be the mommy big boys oh, and they have their little baby in there they made a baby in the box little family yeah family of stone crabs. family oh let's like let's hug and hug them at the same time yeah Aww. Aww.